Welcome to my first video. I was asked to make a tutorial about how I made the uh, tow truck with the T-Bar and the TLX35. So I will start showing you the mods first. So, well, quite logic. This is uh, the TLX35. But if you like, you can use the towing rig on other trucks too, like the TLX 2020 or maybe even uh, the Rodeo. I haven't tested those, but uh, you have to have a little bit of counterweight in the front of the truck. So the heavier and the longer the nose is, the better. That's the mod you will need, but you can use it with every truck. Uh, I prefer to also use the MAN with the swap body. Where is it? That's this mod. It also attaches the same system to the swap uh, body, but that uh, is another video. So let's go to the mods that I use. The most important one, we start with that one, is the T-Bar. It's a new mod, just been released Friday, and it has a little strap on the top, tension belt, and it attaches to a three point. So that's the thing that creates the whole towing system. In 2019, you had the 82 Studios uh, drawbar system thingy, and this I use similar. So you will also need the where is it? I have so many mods. You need this one, the back lifter. This will attach to a three point to the back of the truck. So you have a little towing arm. You will need a front lifter. I prefer the Magus Ferguson one. It has a little bit more options, better colors. Uh, PTO configuration and you can attach extra hoses so it just looks a little bit better than the uh, lizard one and you will need the attacher plate it's the lizard adapter 5R and this will make uh, a front lifter attach a 3 point so you will need that too so with no further ado we will start the game and I'll be back in a moment. See you in a soon. So we're back. This is uh, one of my trucks. I have one over there and one over there. But we'll come to that later. Let's go to the shop first. So the parts we will need are all in tools. Then we go to front loader and the lizard back lifter. Well, I have a yellow truck with blue details, so these will be blue. And then we go to miscellaneous and we will need three parts here. We need the 5R adapter plate. Let's do that yellow, nice and clear visible. This is to attach front loaders. Uh, if you attach to front loaders, then do a three point. So that's what you need. You will need the T-bar, one of the most important parts. And you will need one Ferguson front loader. I prefer the front lifter of Ferguson. Ferguson because of the looks. It looks just a little bit better for connection hoses with PTO and much, much, much more color options. So we will do that blue. Okay, let's go. Now it's a little bit back forth, back forth, but that's because of the setup how the shop sells their parts. So we first reverse from the shop edge to the Ferguson front lifter part. And you see it glitches. 
So if you detach the back and attach it again, and that problem is immediately solved. So that would not be a problem. So we then reverse from the front to the store to the front lifter, back lifter, sorry, and attach it. So then we have to go all around again for the adapter, the R5 adapter. Oops, I glitched it a little bit, pushed it over. If you flip it around a bit, it will still respond. Up, down, back, forth. So now we have to go way back to the front again. Yeah, I know it's cumbersome, but that's just how it works. So you slowly move towards it. And it should respond when I'm close to it, so. There it is, you attach the front plate, lift it a little bit off the ground, tilt it back and forth, I'll zoom in so you can see. Now you have the little bar in the middle of the tree point, and you see there, there's the tension belt. So I'm moving a little bit forward, let's get a vehicle. Let's do the old truck. Then you have a lot of menu options, up, down. But first you go to the menu and find the... Oh, come on. Oh, I missed it. You need the lower the front loader option. Then you, if you straighten the angle of the platform completely, then lower it as low as you can, not that low. And then you slowly reverse to the truck. Some vehicles do it a little bit better than others, that depends on the collision box. This one does, does it very, very well, but you still have to line it up correctly to make a good attachment. It will work, but it will be crooked during towing and you don't want that. So here we go. Oops, that's a little bit too close. Then you go through the menu for the tension belt, attach the tension belts. Lift the front loader. You see that the truck goes off the ground now, but that's not a problem. You can correct that with the angle of both the front lifter and the platform then it's a little bit jiggling around to get the right angle but we very slowly about about it as you can see it glitches very fast I think this would be it so you can see you can turn quite good but the truck stays straight in line with the truck, with your pickup, so you have to be a little bit calculative in your cornering. Not too fast, just turn slowly. And there you have it, that's your tow truck. So turn slowly, adjust the coil a little bit. And there we go again. Turn it around. So you see, that's how it works. Now to give you some ideas, you can also make a truck like black, robust, a little bit more aggressive, aggressive looking, like a 
repo truck with the red color, standard red color of uh, the most stone equipment I have seen. Or on the other side I have a fire and rescue truck that is trying to pick up a little ATV that was stuck on the ground. You have some uh, public watching. So you can, if it's not too heavy, you can also lift it off the ground. So I would, uh, yeah, well, if you have questions, uh, put them in the reply. And uh, thank you for watching. And see you soon.